Let's see. All right. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Hello. My name is Dr. Josie Schmidt. I'm one of the founding um, leaders of the Visionary Leaders Collective, and it's my pleasure to welcome you here today to our weekly podcast. So you can learn all about our community with our offerings at hellovisionary.life, and please follow us on Instagram and YouTube. Now, this is the third Monday of the month, and this is our special uh, episode, which is called Oils A to Z. And so this third Monday of the month, we always have our Oils A to Z with Ariana Harley, Louise Rose, ND, Mika Karu, ND, LAC, and Will Wan, LAC, NCC, AOM. So we have a bucket full of amazing uh, practitioners and oil aficionados and experts that are going to break down an oil for you. And uh, today it is going to be lemon, a deep dive into lemon, the oil of focus. But first, we do have an exciting announcement, which we'd like to take a few minutes to go over because um, it is right now. So if you're listening to this recording, you can fast forward about 10 minutes, uh, seven to 10 minutes, but we're going to tell you about the BOGOs that are happening this whole week and just started today, this morning. And BOGO mm. means buy one, get one free. And doTERRA has this about three to four times a year. And we are very excited when it happens. And this happens to be a particularly amazing BOGO um, week. So it's a little bit different. There are six different bundles that are offered this time, and it's the whole week long from June 19th to the 23rd. And you can purchase any mixture of them up to their limits. So they do have limits on each of the different bundles. Um, and you can package them together and, and get any amount you want as long as they're still available throughout the week. So we kind of, if you can see the second slide, here are the different six bundles. And we kind of knew there was one bundle that stood out and that it was going to go fast. <laughs> and we sort of were texting everyone we knew in our in our community sort of saying, get ready, die, don't dally on this one. And it was the two for one MetaPower Advantage, uh, right? That packets of our incredible incredible NMN mixed with collagen powder and all the other nine ingredients and the special formulation that we love for basically everything from anti-aging in the cells to our skin to recovery, all of that. Um, I am sad to say about half an hour ago, it sold out. So we were posting all morning long, like 50% sold out, 75% sold out. So we are really sorry that by the time of this call, 10 a.m. on the 19th of June, it is sold out. And I guess it, it does point to that um, doTERRA has amazing deals. And when they do, you know, you got to jump on them. I don't know if anyone else wants to say anything about um, any about that, but let's go on to the deals that are still available to us. Um, I would like to first start with the one at the top, which is immort buy an Immortel and get these two other products, which are within the skincare line, the anti-aging skincare line, a brightening gel and a tightening serum. You get those for free. I love these kind of BOGOs because they get to introduce you to perhaps part of the lines that you haven't yet trialed or encountered. And so for me, I, if you know me, you know that Immortel is my desert island oil. It's a blend, it's five oils, and it's all my favorite five oils. And therefore the blend is like, if I'm on a desert island and I can only have one oil thing, it would be Immortel. I love it that much. I find it indispensable in a first aid kit for everything. And then the Benny is this top shelf idea that it's everything I ever wanted daily on my face in my face care routine. So, and but it's everything you ever wanted for recovery for any kind of skin blemish or bigger than a blemish thing. Um, it is for healing of scars. It is for um, everything we think about in that way. It's incredible for brain health, rolling on the back of our neck. I want to tell you about these other two. I'm going to highlight, because you don't have a lot of time, the brightening serum. This is basically a high-end facial vitamin C serum. They have a special form of encapsulated vitamin C that is special for being able to be absorbed through that dermal layer. 
all three of the dermal layers in our skin. And we know vitamin C is one of the very important things in our um, wellness, aging for our skin um, care. And so anything that you combine with vitamin C, it's like a driver. It is going to help push in the hydration. It's going to keep that height, that your layers hydrated. So I love, I use this all the time. They used to have it in a package format that wasn't so great. It would leak and they have reformatted it. So it's now in a fantastic packaging, no leaking, take it with you everywhere you want to go. Um, and this, when you combine this with something like Immortel in your daily facial care, things go accelerated forward. Then when you are imbibing and taking the LLV and the MetaPower, they go even that much forward. Don't get me started, right, everyone? Uh, Ari, do you want to talk about Neroli Divana? And because that is a really special Divana is an oil that we do not have normally. You cannot get it. This is what we call an LTO limited time order. So it's very special to be able to get it here in this BOGO. Yeah, I think it's, um, I was so excited to see this. So Neroli, we know is a floral and it is phenomenal for our mood, for our nervous system. I use this oil. It's delicate. It's light. It's beautiful. And then Devana, I just wanted to share a little bit, is known in, this is from the Essential Emotions book, as the uninhibited flow. And mm -hmm. so um, I'm going to just read a little bit uh, briefly about it. Something that I think is really, really fascinating to me is Devana is a distinctive oil as its aroma is unique to each individual. It changes and adapts to each person's specific chemistry and emotional needs. So isn't that amazing that this plant, this flower, actually works with our own chemistry? It's going to smell different on every person. And it's also going to energetically, emotionally support us for our own needs. Mm. So it's just like a fine-tuned sweetheart, right? It's just, it's so good. It's like a it's mood so ring. It's like a mood ring. The scent to me, I have it and it smells really sweet and mm. um, deep. And we know that the um, energetics, the fragrant energetics of the floral oils are likened to a mother rocking a baby. And so mm. I am a person that's pretty highly sensitive. And so I love, if you're a person that needs just a little more comfort. You know, you go into a big crowd and your senses get overwhelmed. Um, if you have children or or people in your life where it's like, wow, that's a lot of emotional stimulation. I find the florals to be incredibly comforting and nurturing for that feeling of overwhelm, overstimulation, <laughs> any kind of heartache, any kind of loss, any kind of grief, or you just think I need some tenderness, I need some kindness. So um, I invite you to play with Nirvana. I want to get together with some friends and have us all try it on and then just smell different people's wrists after they've worn it for a minute and see uh, what I pick up. Like, how yeah. does it, you know, so I'm so curious. So I think it is that's a phenomenal bogo and yeah we don't know when we're going to be able to get divana again so if mm -hmm. if you're interested you're going to want to jump on this one and i know, have a I, shout out for um neroli so yeah. maybe you don't know about divana but neroli some things that people don't think about with the the power of neroli on the physical for um what i suggest people do is to for a thyroid support, mm. physical thyroid support, roll that on your, your neck daily. And then also you might not think about this for like colicky, uh, congested digestion or belly aches, but you can roll the neroli on your belly. And that will really help. Do you remember when that happened with you, Dr. Yes, Joe's? I wanted to highlight that, right? People yeah. don't think about it for yeah. cramping and spasmodic pains in the, especially the abdomen, like menstrual cramping or any kind of digestive, it is incredible. And wonderful for hormones too, and hormone balancing. Yes, it's so. one of our big hormone supports. So neroli is one I, um, I keep stocked. Ooh, I have a hair on my glasses. 
yeah, I keep it stocked for presents. I love to give that as a, as a present actually to um, mostly women friends. Okay, let's talk about beautiful y'all. So if you have not experienced beautiful, this blend, I love it in the body mist. I always use that for under my armpits, um, but it's really great. This is a touch blend. And so this is a wonderful version to bring traveling with you because you can't bring that on um, carry on too big. And so I love that for um, travel. The oils in the beautiful blend are frankincense, lime, osmanthus, and bergamot. Uh, it is a beautiful, so you think about bergamot, lime, um, the citruses together with that floral of osmanthus with that grounding of frankincense. It's a beautiful blend. I love it. Um, it's good for so many things. Hormones come to mind as a, a, a big one, but also mood. And um, I have found uh, a lot of my, my nieces love it younger generation, young women really love it. Um, it's, a, it's a great gift I like to give as well. And then I'm going to highlight this little frankincense for ML. We don't get those often. It's a wonderful size to get. And um, it you can for carrying around. So it's a wonderful one in your purse. So definitely after that frankincense is done, you can keep re-upping it and making your own touch blend of, of frankincense and adding to it and always having that little size travel bottle. Um, I don't know if anyone else wants to, so I'm going to go quick. I think we want to move on to our lemonade to Z, but a shout out for this for summertime to have that mint Island mint, which is a combination of mints plus a little bit of citrus with, I, we love citrus bloom. It was the original blend that gave fruit to the idea of the adaptive blend. And so they reformulated and added some mint in there, but it's a little more floral than adaptive incredible for mood um, support. And then Sunny Citrus is such a great blend. It's kind of like Citrus Bliss without the vanilla. It's all these citrus flavors together. Um, and then we have the Deep Blue. I mean, which you can't choose. You have your, your actual buy the Deep Blue formula that you can then use in your um, symphonies, in your aroma touch, in just for your applications, making any of your roller bottles for pain formulas. And then you also have the Deep Blue stick, that two for one. So that is uh, an incredible deal. So please uh, don't hesitate to go for these BOGOs. We already have one sold out. People love them and it's a time to stock up. <clears throat> so I want to say one thing, sorry, just gotta, yeah. I really got to do this. For the Island Mist, that's yeah. great for cooling. There's a lot of places mm. that are hot right now and also for clearing the air. You can just diffuse, one, one idea is to diffuse the Island Mist. I've done this in hot, when it's really hot in Colorado and it cools down the, the atmosphere in the house. So it's, it feels really cooling in the house. So if I wanna get a big, big area cool and people feel cool, body, yes. mind, and spirit, I diffuse the island mist. You can also put 10 drops in a water bottle and spray people with it in the back nice. of their neck to cool them off. So it's really important to, you know, as we know, doTERRA always thinks about what's going to be the best for, for worldwide. And, you know, this is, it's BOGO, it's summertime for us anyway. It's hot in some areas. It's a good thing to have on hand. I keep a great, spray you. bottle in the car and it's so great when mm. you're overheating. Um, and so great if you have any head tension. I was so grateful when I was traveling and I struggle with um, headaches and so and migraines. And so the mints are just a lifesaver in that respect too. So you can use it that way. So- all right. Thank you for Sorry. Josie. Um, yeah, our message to you, if you're interested, don't delay, don't delay, because these are such great deals. And so now we are going to move into our lovely lemon. And um, Louise is going to talk about our physical uses for lemon. I say this every time, I think, but I will say it if you are new. 
we break our calls up to body, mind, and spirit. It's a way that we can kind of organize our calls. And yet I I can I think I can safely say that we all agree that there really is no separation, right? So you will see some overlaps between the emotional mind uses and the body and the spirit, of course. So Louise, go ahead and, and uh, tell us about lemon. And I just invited you to do that. And forgive me, there was one more thing I wanted to say about lemon. I just want to give credit to the ordinary. Sometimes I think lemon can feel very ordinary, very familiar. It's not, I it, it really is exotic actually, but we don't think of it as exotic because it's not new and humans love new stuff. The mind loves, what's the new gadget? What's the new thing? What's the pretty thing I haven't seen yet? I want new, I want new. And sometimes I think it's really good to remember like our best friends, like who's always there for you. And Lemon is definitely a best friend of mine who is always there. And I love in some cultures, I was in San Diego and they have a lemon festival. And um, in the Latinx culture, it's like they were just celebrating lemon. And we went to the lemon festival and had lemonade and um, my ex Manuel got for his sister, these big lemon earrings that were so fun. So I was just like, yeah, lemon should be celebrated. So I will stop there and hand it to Louise, but <laughs> celebrate lemon. It's a good one. I'm, can you imagine a world without lemon? Like, oh my gosh, that would be so tragic. Lemon, uh, brightens up all of our um, culinary traditions, right? We all have a relationship with lemon. Um, in fact, I just wanted to say briefly, like those of us on the call and those of us who really study essential oils use all these different lenses through which to understand our oils, right? We learn about the, the chemistry in the, in the oils and lemon is really high in something called D-limonene, which is really important detoxifier for the body and helps with um, producing more glutathione in the liver. Um, we look at oils through the emotional lens. How does this fragrance change our emotional state um we look at oils just from experience right like many of us are clinicians and use oils with our patients and so we get over years i mean i have oh, 11 12 years now of experience of working with these oils clinically learn a lot about how my patients respond to the oils um and then of course we we read the research uh so that's where my notes are coming from, but I just wanted to, oh, and then also we meditate with the oils, right? Uh, we sit, we smell, we, we just get into the vibration of lemon and let it teach us directly through our own experience of lemon. And I wanted to say that all of you have that at your fingertips as well. And so what I'm going to tell you about the physical uses of lemon is not going to be a surprise to anybody, right? We all know lemon is cleansing and clarifying because it's used in all of our cleaning products, right? Our dish soap, our laundry soap. Um, and then we know of it as, uh, you know, put lemon in your water for healthy digestion and, and liver cleanse, right? That's something that, that in the wellness community is a, a common practice. Uh, I don't know if we're as familiar with using lemon as clarifying for the brain, but that is definitely <clears throat> one of its superpowers as well. So along the same lines as Ariana was talking about the ordinary, just like you know lemon, but you might be taking lemon for granted. So here's, here's a little rundown on how you might zhuzh up your, your lemon use in your, in your self-care routines. Put some in your shampoo. So we know that lemon is cleansing and it, it cuts through gunk, right? So we know it can clean off surfaces if you have like sticky adhesive or 
uh, hardened grease on something. Well, think about how cleansing it's going to be for your hair and your skin as well. It helps with uh, strong nails and hair. We often in this community recommend choosing a citrus oil to use in your water as just like a daily tonic. And, and so I'm just going to reinforce that for everybody at two to three drops in each water bottle. What an amazing, simple, delicious way to support all of your systems in your body. We use lemon for mental focus. There's a recipe that I made uh, called Revive the Mind that we'll be sharing with later in the, in the presentation uh, that has lemon in it. So diffuse lemon in your home. It's uplifting. It's going to clarify and bring brightness to your day. On the detoxification level, we know that it is supportive for the liver. All that delimonene is helping our glutathione, our body's major antioxidant in our body. It can help with sluggishness of the liver. So liver is where we process all of the things that our body needs to make sure it safely gets rid of so it's it might be toxic to the body so the liver goes through the blood and sorts and cleanses and stores the toxicants over here and processes them to be uh, gotten rid of in the rest of the body uh, we use lemon as a diuretic it helps flush the system it moves stuff through there's been some research that it can actually break up hardened uh, stones that form in different organs like the gallbladder or the kidney. Um, so think of it if that's something that you're prone to using lemon in your water on a daily basis might just help keep things flowing. There's been some research that it's helpful for morning sickness and that feeling of discomfort in the belly try diffusing it try putting it in your water maybe a little warm tea with a drop of lemon in the morning and when i was reading about how useful lemon is as a pain reliever i was really pondering that because my brain is looking for like, what's the mechanism behind that? How is it helping with pain relief? Um, it's not like wintergreen or clove where it's like coming in and like using those big uh, feelings to like tamp down the, the pain sensations. But um, if we think about pain as what's the underlying cause of pain, right? Often it's blood stagnation or uh, our body's inability to detoxify. And so it stores gunk in our joint space because it's trying to help us, right? So lemon is going to help move and clear those things. It's cooling. So anytime we have pain or inflammation, it's oftentimes hot and damp and stagnant. So think of lemon when we need to move the blood, move the lymph, move the flow. I wanted to just jump in uh, for a moment on the pain. Um, when I was making this slide, I was doing some research and there was a study with mice and those are always hard for me to read or to read because I always feel bad for the animals but they were studying um, uh, the mice's brains and their relation to pain in the brain. And we know that lemon is phenomenal for the brain and the mice were relating to pain um, in the study differently. And there was, um, and that is where I, I got part of that information. And I just wanted to add in another study, um, they were finding that the lemon was actually reducing anxiety um, even more than lavender. So I just thought that yeah. was so interesting okay. how okay. how lemon Where affects the brain. Um, and yeah. how we know that pain okay. starts in a 
you know, in a communication with our brain. Okay? Right? So I think mm -hmm. that that's Annie, powerful Annie. too. Can we go ahead and mute the? I wanna. Hold on, speakers, you'll need to unmute yourself. I just wanted to uh, shout out a couple of things on the physical with lemon. Lemon, for me, lemon essential oil, just to be clear, it's from the peel and the pith. It's not the citrus. So I know you probably all know that, but I just wanted to say that the peel and the pith. So it affects the body in a different way. Um, it was my gate, one of my gateway oils, which means it's the one that drew me into learning more about essential oils. And I was studying pathways of the liver and liver function. And uh, I know you've, you've heard me say this before, but it's worth mentioning again about how lemon, doTERRA's lemon essential oil directly affects uh, phase two of the liver. And as um, Dr. Louise Rose mentioned about increasing glutathione and um what i how i talk to uh speak to lemon to, to my patients is that you think about you don't have to remember phase two but you think about a louisiana bayou how it it still and it's it's uh you, it can be steamy if you see pictures of the louisiana bayou it's it's sluggish sludgy and what we don't want is to have that in our livers and louis dr louise talked about how it's good for the brain well both of uh, ariana and louise did and the reason is one of the reasons there's many reasons um but when the bayou is stuck and that you can't get that stuff out of your liver it's got to go somewhere so it'll go out your skin or it's going to start backing up and it's going to back up the way it came in and it's going to affect your brain and your hormones. And so when somebody comes in with hormone dysregulation, I definitely tell them to do lemon in the water, which will then help that lemon essential oil will directly start gently opening up that phase two of the liver and clearing out the Louisiana Bayou, right? So people are going to feel clear, more clear headed and uh, over time, clear headed and over time hormone regulation because they're getting that sledge out because the liver is the, what the hormones have to flush through the liver. So, um, it's it thank you ariana because it is a gem it is a special it's it's an empress to me <laughs> you know, Definitely. Empress women. i um i wanted to share i was just working with my acupuncturist and i wasn't feeling good and my symptoms and i just am sharing this because i think it'd be helpful for people i know that we're all individuals so i'm not trying to say my symptoms or your symptoms but if you are experiencing a lot of joint pain brain fog and like it's hard to get out of bed you're tired you're sloggy like the bayou exactly what you're saying it was like it feels like there's this mud and it's you know in Chinese medicine it was cold damp and it just makes things really sluggish in your system um lemon is so like as Mika said it's so good for that condition and it's so yummy and and then you're like drinking it in your water and you're also smelling it and it's changing the emotional system right and it's also changing the brain fog you're getting you're getting it in internally but you're also aromatically waking up the brain and getting that sludge and slog I think of Windex and just wiping a window with Windex as well with this one Handing it back to you, Louise. I know that we jumped in there with our excitement on lemon. <laughs> Great. Awesome. I'll just continue on then. Um, thank you for those shares. Um, I learned in my research um, that when we use it on our skin, that it, re it slows down the 
enzyme that <laughs> breaks down elastin. So elastin in our skin is what keeps it supple and flexible and helps with wrinkles and that sort of thing. So I don't think of lemon topically very often because um, it is mildly photosensitizing. As we know, um, most of our citrus oils, if we use them topically, we have to be careful about sun exposure because it can make us more susceptible to sunburn. Um, but after reading that, I was like, oh, that's interesting. Um, and so I could imagine uh, adding it to a facial serum or something that I use at night before bed because then you'll have 12 hours overnight um, where you're not exposed to the sunshine and um, and then you'd be you'd be safe with that. There was also some great research about lemon being helpful for regulating our blood pressure and in the research it was an inhalation with lavender and ylang ylang so that sounds like a great diffuser blend for anybody that might need that kind of support. Um, Boy, lemon has so much great power behind it, as most and all of our oils do in the um, antimicrobial realm. So we know antifungal, antiviral, antibacterial, antiparasite. Um, so lemon is one of the best oils to travel with because you can put it in your water when you don't know maybe how clean your water is. It's going to make it taste better so that you're going to stay hydrated. Um, lots of great evidence about um, oral health and sore throats and, you know, any sort of sickness or stuff that happens in your mouth and throat. So great for uh, oral swish and swallow or gargle and swallow. Some wonderful um, research that I read about how supportive lemon is for digestion. And I remember that with lime as well. And so um, really great for sluggish digestion. We know it's going to be helping the liver move. And so that's going to help support um, healthy digestion. And then also uh, limonene, oils that are high in limonene are very helpful for upper GI issues like uh, reflux and heartburn sort of issues. So um, really all, all through the gastrointestinal tract, it's going to be supportive um, for just keeping things healthy and flowing. So it's helpful for our immune system because it's you know, it's protective against all those microbes. But another really interesting fact that I learned about lemon is that it actually helps support our white blood cells and our red blood cells to be produced in healthy, um, in healthy populations. So that's another way that it's supporting our immune system. And then, you know, just think of, think of lemon anytime you feel like you want to get things flowing, you want to be channeling the, the sunshine that comes from um, our citrus oils and uh, use it for cleaning your environment, cleaning your body, cleansing and focusing your, your mind. That's what I've got for you all mm. today. Thank you. And thank you for mentioning the sunshine. That's exactly what I think of when I think of lemon. So we've spoke, um, I jumped in a little early on the study I was speaking of, but lemon is really multifaceted and wonderful in that it promotes happiness and it also is calming. Isn't that cool? So it's like energizing and calming at the same time. And you might ask, well, how does that work? And it's because it's, you know, when our nervous system is all revved up, that's not usually the energy we want to walk around all day with. That's great energy if a car jumps out in front of you and you need to let go, whoa, I need to swerve, right? Thank you, body. But we don't want to have hold that energy for the rest of the day when we have already got off the freeway. And yet we do often. So you could think of an energetic state where you have a clear mind you have energy, but you're not frantic. You're not like, oh, I just drank three cups of coffee energy. It's just a calm centered um, energy. So lemon, bring in lemon at that time. And just like sunshine coming through a window after dark, 
gloomy, cloudy day. We know that very well in the Pacific Northwest. Um, lemon acts the same way. So if you have had some hard news, um, I think this is really a wonderful one to bring in in loss and death and tragedy and shock. You can mix lemon with peppermint if you receive any really hard news um, and help your body process, help your body calm, help your body integrate. Um, we mentioned men mental clarity. So a great oil to put in the diffuser. Most everyone likes the smell of lemon. They're familiar with it. So it can um, feel like home. It can, it usually is associated with good feelings. Great for study time. Um, rosemary and lemon. Well, I have a few recipes, but rosemary and lemon would be a great choice in the diffuser for that. Um, great to put by your bed. If you or a loved one is, you know, struggling with depression, is really having a hard time motivating, having a hard time getting up in the morning, just feeling like we were talking that, that boggy, sloggy, oh, everything's so heavy. Everything's so hard. Um, you know, I know that that intimately in times of death, where there's a feeling of like, wow, I have to keep going and I have lost someone I've loved. Right. And so lemon is a great ally to bring in, like, help me with the next step, lemon, help me with the energy. Um, lemon can also help break us out of habits and routines that no longer serve us. So bringing in lemon, if we are just in the mundane, right? Like if we're just kind of going into autopilot, it's like, ho-hum, I'm not fully alive. I'm not bringing in the sacred gift of life today and realizing how precious that is. Um, I'm just kind of here. That would be another great way to use lemon. And we know that with the emotional body and the mind and the limbic system, lemon aromatically is going to be your go-to. And that's what's really great. If it's really sunny outside, it's summertime where I live. Um, I do a lot, like I'm getting the aroma in my glass as I'm drinking my water. I'm getting it in my diffuser. I'll get it on my lovely serum at nighttime. Um, but I am not putting it directly on my skin and going out in the sun. And I have a little safety slide that I'll show you, but we've, we've mentioned the photosensitivity. Um, so we just want to be mindful of that, but you can still use it. Don't stop using it in the summer. And of course it's great. We cook with lemon, right? We can make lavender lemonade. We can make um, lovely teas. We can use it in recipes. One great thing to do if you're cooking with lemon is just to dip a toothpick in the bottle and add the oil that way because it's so concentrated. Anybody else want to add anything for the emotional benefits of lemon? No, but I will just culinarily chime in that I use it in my salad dressing recipes almost every time I make a salad dressing just to brighten it up. Oh, and good. your salad dressings are the best. So yeah. definitely <laughs> take that tip, my friend, for sure. And then Mika's going to talk to us about the energetic and spirit uses of lemon. Yay. So I'm going to do the spirit and I'm going to do um, add in the Chinese medicine <clears throat> since Will's not going to be with us today. This is what I got through the meditation. And if you, uh, of course, you all can just speak to the, uh, the plant, the oil or the, uh, by just by being with it. But if you want a process of how I do it, um, there's, we can post my book. It kind of directs you on how to do that, but you definitely do not need to have that book to be in relationship with, with plants, herbs, oils. Okay. <clears throat> but what I got was, and, and you know, it's all the kind of the same thing. I'm a cleanser, body, mind, and spirit. I am joy. I am joy. I can help you clear your clouded thinking. So clear that by you, but from a spiritual point of view, an energetic point of view. 
I move stagnant energy, support growth and abundance. I remember that from a long time ago. Um, the It's the lemon of abundance, the oil of abundance, because it's one seed provides many fruit, much fruit. So you can think of if you want to work through your abundance uh, blockages or limitations, um, diffuse, drink, lemon water. You think about it. I just had a thought. That makes sense. I mean, if it's a stagnant by you, how physically, then energetically, if there's any stagnation that's limiting you, we should probably do a clearing with the lemon um, of any unworthiness for financial freedom and success, right? If you have feel like you're having, you're bumping up against your own limitations for financial freedom and success, use lemon, diffuse lemon. If we have time, we could do a clearing. Um, I have the book right here on feelings buried alive, never die. Or you can, if we don't get to it, here's the book, very used. <laughs> and you can just do the, the, uh, the uh, statement on page 95, which look, it's been well used, but hopefully maybe we'll be able to do it today. Um, I wanna get to the Chinese medicine really quick. Um, like I said, the peel and the pith is what the, uh, this oil is, it's a peel and pith, lemon peel and pith. And so in Chinese medicine, the peel and the pith is really important for clearing. It's called P, P I. Um, the P I is the peel in the pith. And it's really good at clearing any stagnation, which is called liver chi stagnation. Now, one of the things that, and uh, Dr. Louise Rose talked about this, <clears throat> is joint pain, or both of you did, um, and headache. So from a Chinese medicine perspective, that, uh, that rings true. Lemon, the peel and the pith, affects and helps to support the ligaments and tendons. So ligaments and tendons are ruled by, in Chinese medicine, the liver. So if you have any pain or discomfort in the joints, ligaments, and tendons, it's a really good idea to put lemon in your water or there's lemon in MetaPower, put a couple of drops of the MetaPower oil blend in your water every time you're drinking it or just the lemon. It's going to help relieve the stagnation, stagnation and increase flow in the liver channel and gallbladder channel and then thus help the elasticity in healing and decreasing pain uh, of your ligaments and tendons, okay, and joints. So think about joint, ligament, tendon, like if you touch the side of your leg and it's tender, the IT band it's called, right on the side of your thigh, if that's tender, you know that you have some stagnation in the liver, uh, the inner, from a Chinese medicine perspective, you need to move the liver. So touch the sides of your thighs. If there's any tenderness, you know you need lemon essential oil in your water or diffuse it. Who here touches the side of their thighs and has a little tenderness? I've worked really hard. Yeah, I've worked really hard to not have tenderness. That's my big, big sign that I need more lemon and to, to use the citrus oils. Um, there was one other thing I wanted to talk about from the Chinese medicine perspective. Let's talk about the points in the meantime. Um, oh, I got it. Well, I'll talk about the points now. Yeah, you, you, you. Yeah, so liver three here. Uh, thanks, Ariana. Yes, it will ease anxiety because it's bringing down the sluggishness 
that the person is feeling with a stagnant liver. That's why there's anxiety, as they call it, liver fire rising. If you feel like, ah, or you're an anxious, that means your liver is stagnant. You need to get the liver in your body. Name of book, Marilyn, it's all from my studying of many, many years. Um, so <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. Marilyn said, what book? Uh, I think she uh, means I, the, the clearing, probably. Oh, your book, though, right. Uh, oh, my book, um, uh, Plant Spirit Medicine from an Indigenous Point of View. It's on Amazon. Um, but so liver three is right here. Look at this beautiful picture. Thank you, Ariana. You can just, if you have a lot of stagnation, that anger, that anxiety, uh, frustration, take the lemon and put it on that point, liver three. You could even take a screenshot of this and just put a little drop of that and just rub it in. Another one is gallbladder 34 that looks a little tricky to find but it's not it's on the outside of your calf you go ahead and find it now outside of your calf it's um you'll feel a bone right on the outside of your calf you just put it right right below that bone anywhere so here's the deal in chinese medicine this is very specific but that area it's if you just get around that area on the outside of your calf, it's going to be fine. So you could rub the lemon right on the outside of your calf, on the upper part of your calf, on the side. Okay. One of the things that I want to talk about is the Chinese saying, mama hoo hoo, mama hoo hoo. And you kind of spoke to that, Ariana, mama hoo hoo, when you're like, I'm kind of alive, kind of, kind of humdrum, ho hum. That is so, it's called mama hoo hoo. So now you can use that. I feel mama hoo hoo. It's like indecisive or don't want to decide. Or, uh. So when you have, or you have like, there's mama hoo hoo. And then there's also like, I don't, this or this, this or this. Oh my God, I can't decide. Should I go? Should I not? Should I do this? Should I not? That is, from a Chinese medicine perspective, a perfect example of liver gallbladder not communicating. And so that means that you're having your, you need to clear out the sluggishness of your liver. So if you ever have that and it gets really strong, you know that you need to put lemon essential oil in your water, diffuse it. And then don't make any decision because it's not coming from a place of balance and stability. It's coming from a place of your, you're not connected. Your organs are not communicating. So if anybody has anxiety or, or when you have a headache, sometimes they'll say that's from liver fire rising, do lemon, drink lemon water. Make it fun. Put liver, a lemon on your liver three and gallbladder 34. Um, let's see. Yes. Yeah, so I now love the can... idea. Sorry, Mika, yeah. to interrupt, but yeah. put lemon in your purse. I was just thinking about yeah. in America, like the immense amount of choices just going into a grocery oh. store and like, oh, I'm going to buy some yogurt. And you have like 30 choices of yogurt or whatever. <laughs> right. You know, it's like bring some lemon with you when you just get overwhelmed by even mundane choices, right? Of just like, ah, like has anybody gone to the grocery store and left with nothing because they just were like, I can't even decide what to buy. I forgot what I even came in here for, you know? That is so perfect. We were talking years ago with one of my teachers, Heiner Fruhoff, about that. And that is a perfect, he gave the example of his wife calling and saying, I am in town. I'm in the grocery store. I have to buy groceries. I can't, I just don't know what to buy. He's like, pull out your list and then, you know, choose the list, do what's on the list. And we know that you're having a uh, liver gallbladder that we need to do some acupuncture and herbs for your liver gallbladder. So it's a really good sign and signal to, to think about 
liver fire rising, headache, anxiety, frustration, and lack of decision making, use lemon. That's all I have. Mama mm. hoo hoo. I love Mama hoo hoo. That yeah. is, makes me smile. Yeah. Just so perfect. Thank yeah. you. And if you yeah. haven't done it, I invite you. We usually do like a little um, work with the lemon and I've been just using it. If you saw me on camera, if you're listening to the podcast, you did not, but I invite you, if you have lemon to, what do you experience? Put a drop on Mm -hmm. liver three. That's just right on the top of the foot. You can move your thumb back from the big toe and just go directly back. And I just put put some lemon oil on that spot and really noticed a flow in my body. It was interesting. So if you want to type in the chat, um, what do you experience when you smell lemon? What do you experience if you put lemon on liver three? Do you notice your body doing anything? Is it just the same? Um, How about your mind and your mood when you smell lemon? What happens? Get curious and definitely get your lemon out and be using it as we're wrapping up this call so you can feel what we're talking about and have a direct experience of it. Um, I spoke to some of these already, but lemon and rosemary is going to make a happy liver. Those are both in our Zendocrine blend, essential oil blend. We're getting lemon in our Meta Power, so those are great ways to get lemon. Um, lemon and rosemary is also going to be a happy brain. It's going to be a great study blend, a diffuser blend. They pair really well together. Lemon and lemongrass is going to be great for, I called it athlete foot rub. You could take some lemon, put it on the bottoms of the feet, take some lemongrass, put them on the bottoms of the feet, do a nice coconut oil or lotion if you'd like. Um, But this is going to get all the funk that likes to grow on our feet um, in damp, moist conditions. That is going to take it away. And another great pairing that is just such a tried and true is lemon and ginger. Anytime I got a text during our call of my daughter has a sore throat. Can I come by and get some stuff from you? Um, Anytime we are wanting to boost the immune system, soothe the throat. This is a gorgeous tea. I love to just put uh, drops of lemon, one or two drops of lemon, one or two drops of ginger in a spoonful of honey. So I just like have that oil kind of bind with the honey. And then I just uh, stir it into hot water, adding some frankincense in there would be really delicious too. And this is as promised, Louise's Revive the Mind blend. And this is a great one to make up, make a roller bottle blend in a five milliliter roller bottle and top it off with fractionated coconut oil. It's going to be 15 drops of rosemary, 15 drops of eucalyptus, eight drops of lime, seven drops of Douglas fir, seven drops of cedar wood, five drops of frankincense, and four drops of lemon. And what is so cool about this is revive the mind. So this is going to help with mental focus and clarity You could use this if you have a headache or a migraine. You could use this if you had some lung conditions and rub it on the chest. You could use this if you were feeling sad or scared. Isn't that cool? Like you could bring this traveling and it's going to do so many. You could rub this on the bottoms of your feet if you had some foot funk. Like there are so many things that this blend will be doing. And I love our oils for that. I have... They've saved me so many times, especially traveling. And I have like one bottle of oil in my purse, right? Um, So this is a beautiful blend. Thank you, Louisa. Do you want to say anything else about this blend? This is your. Um, Not really. I I work with a lot of patients with head injuries. And so um, a common complaint after a concussion or head injury is just like that cobwebby feeling like you just can't grass can't think straight like it's like the metabolism of the brain is not functioning at its optimal pace and so um this one is great in the diffuser and then i have people rub it on the back of their neck and and smell it and it really helps with just bringing them into the moment 
Yeah, I something I to imagine. say about uh, this combination is just that you know how Ariana, you were talking about let's not take lemon for granted. I we have amazing like practitioners who contribute. Let's not be mama hoo hoo about these. This is like years of treating patients and coming up with this blend and, and the numbers like 15 drops, 15 drops, eight drops, seven, seven, five. That just doesn't come out of nowhere. That's a lot of experience. Um, so I just want to um, recognize and let's not be mama hoo hoo now. I'm going to use that on the calls <laughs> about about all the juicy information that's just not from somewhere on Instagram. You know what I mean? It's actually from a uh, seasoned practitioner mm-hmm. or seasoned, all, all of us, if, even if you're not a practitioner, experience. Mm-hmm. So I just want to honor that. Amen. It's- I'd like to say amen to that, Mika. This podcast, uh, this coming together of of all of us we've been doing we've been coming together for a minimum of 10 years and as practitioners practicing longer and so many of when we say tips that's a a, a great understatement so mm-hmm. these are incredible pearls from you know a lot of clinical work and practice and knowledge and wisdom mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Definitely. It's like you're getting the cliff notes of War and Peace, right? Like, I mean, it's just <laughs> you're getting so much. I mean, I know we talk for an hour, and I know in this day and age, you know, I'm older than Google. So, like, you know, an hour isn't that long to me, but I know in this day and age when everything is reduced down to three minute blips or shorter, 15 seconds, um, an hour can seem different in time in the time scale but wow what condensed information i am so grateful for all of you for sharing it um i know that i am not a practitioner and i have learned so much in the past 11 years and have an amazing toolkit at my fingertips from all the knowledge that I have learned. And I also want to honor that this is an old way that people have been doing, you know, the doctors used to go to the fields um, and ask the peasants, often women, sometimes men, about the herbs and about the medicine. And then they took all of the information and they claimed it for themselves. And, um, you know, and that was a patriarchal system, but you know, nothing against men, but, you know, there's this, there's this practice humans have had a a combination with plants that we have been coexisting, teaching one another, educating, having the medicine people, having the mothers. This is what you do when you got a sore throat, babe, you know, my great grandma coming in, this is what you do when this happens, right? Um, Such a wealth of knowledge. I mentioned safety. Um, We've already covered this, but avoid direct sunlight for 12 hours after applying lemon oil topically. If you do put some lemon oil on and you're like, oh my gosh, I forgot, now I'm going to go out in the sun. A great thing to do is obviously sunscreen and dilute it. Just dilute, 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 dilute. Use lots of fractionated coconut oil. Um, You can also like in your skincare um, routines, usually when the oil is really diluted, um, it's a little safer. I feel a little more comfortable but definitely putting the lemon directly on your skin and going out in the sun is not a good idea. So just be mindful or, or use it on the bottoms of your feet or places that won't be exposed to the sun. And this is completing our call. Um, we have our information here. If you are viewing the slides of how to contact all of us and stay connected, I we love connection. It is such a good good thing about being human. We need it. We're narrow wired for it. Um, Dr. Louise Rose, who joined us today, who's an MD, is located in Portland, Oregon. You can find her on Instagram at Rose Cabinet, Facebook Rose Cabinet Medicine, and her website is rosecabinetmedicine.com. 
Mika Carew is located in Colorado in the United States. She, we mentioned her um, book, Plant Spirit Medicine, that is available now. If you just Google Plant Spirit Medicine, Dr. Mika Carew, it'll come up. It is on Amazon. And um, she also has her website. And forgive me, there's a little space in there, but it's www lineagemedicine.com. Oh yeah. And you could get the, purchase the book right there too. Mm -hmm. So you yeah. can, yes, thank you. And so that was, I didn't finish my sentence, but that was okay. what I was going to say too. Yeah. Like, and that is available via her website. So that, again, that was www.lineagemedicine.com. Will Wong was not with us today, but he always um, enriches our calls with traditional Chinese medicine, and also Chinese language. And speaking of um, like the Chinese words and what they mean. And I love that because there's just such a wealth of knowledge from different languages and how people explain things and what's offered there. And he is, if you want to contact him, eliteacupuncture at gmail.com. And my name is Ariana Harley. I offer emotional coaching. Um, you can contact me at, I have a website, arianaharley.com. I'm on Instagram at Ariana Harley Essential Alchemy and also Facebook at Ariana Harley Essential Alchemy. So thank you so much for joining us today. Be well. We didn't have time for the clearing, but maybe we could do that um, next month. And we will see you back here in July. And always remember too that we have a resource of just such a wealth of information um, for, from our A to Z calls. We're creating a library for you. So, you know, if you're listening to the podcast or if you want to just turn those calls on while you're using your lemon to clean your kitchen and hear more about lemon or whatever oil you're interested in, please connect with that. And thank you so much. Thank you. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you for joining. Bye. Thanks.